morning, students. Today, I'm outside because we're going to be talking about the surface of the Earth, <laughs> our planet, the Earth. And we're going to be talking about what is on the surface of the Earth and how it changes. So we're going to be talking about landforms, and we're going to be talking about weather, erosion, and deposition, the things that create them and make those landforms bigger. Are you ready for this? I sure am, because it's the Earth, the surface of the Earth. We've got this. Here we go. Weathering, erosion, and deposition. Changes to Earth's surface. What does the Earth's surface look like? All we have to do is look outside and see the landforms that are there. Landforms are physical features on Earth's surface. The first one we're going to talk about is glaciers. Glaciers are a slowly moving mass or river of ice. A glacier is formed by the accumulation and compaction of snow. This is myself in front of Portage Glacier in Alaska. There are 616 officially named glaciers in the state of Alaska, but there is over 100,000 glaciers in that state. That's pretty cool. And glaciers are unbelievably beautiful. The blue color is amazing. Another landform is mountains, of course, and Denali is the tallest mountain in North America. But you usually can't see it. It's so tall, it makes its own weather, so it's cloudy a lot of the time, like in the picture there. But there are on occasion where you get to see Denali. It's right there, the tallest mountain in North America. It used to be named Mount McKinley. Valleys. Valleys are another landform. They are low areas of land between higher areas of elevation. This is my daughter and I in front of the Matanuska Valley. Did you know that Hidden Valley Ranch was started in Alaska? In this particular valley. Canyons. Canyons are landforms as well. They are deep ravines between cliffs. This particular canyon is in New Mexico. Beaches. Beaches are pretty awesome too. Even in Alaska where it's pretty cold. This is Homer, Homer, Alaska, the beach there. And that's me and my husband on the beach. How are these landforms created? By water, by wind, by ice, and by mass movement. And we're gonna talk about each of these today. How are these landforms created? Weathering. Weathering is the process of breaking rock into clay, silt, sand, or other tiny pieces called sediment. Water does some of that breaking. Water can carve canyons, waves, erode cliffs and beaches, Water can break rocks into smaller pieces and move them to a new place. This can be done through streams, rivers, and oceans. Ocean waves weather away sea cliffs, causing them to fall into the ocean or turning them into beach sand. Wind also causes the changes in our landforms and creates them, of course. Wind can move sediment from one place to another. Wind erosion through a strong, steady wind can grind hard desert rock. Wind can create columns, arches, dunes, and rocks. This is in Moab, Utah. And that's me and my son. Sand dunes form when wind-blown sand builds up, like here in White Sands, New Mexico. Ice also causes landforms in the form of glaciers. Glaciers are thick sheets of ice formed in areas where more snow falls during the winter than melts during the summer. There's two kinds of glaciers. Valley glaciers are found high in mountain valleys, creating a U-shaped valley. Continental glaciers are ice sheets that cover a larger area of the Earth's surface. Mass movement also causes landforms. Mass movement is the downhill movement of soil and rock due to gravity. Mudslides and landslides occur quickly and change the Earth's surface suddenly. This is, is an example of a landslide. 
creep is when soil moves slowly down a hill over time because of gravity. Sinkholes are a large hole in the ground that suddenly appears after the ground beneath it has become weak. This is an example of a sinkhole near the beach. After the weathering has broken rocks into sediment, erosion and deposition move the sediment to a new place. Erosion is the process of moving sediment from one place to another. Deposition is the process of depositing or dropping sediment in a new location. Erosion and deposition make landforms bigger and they produce new landforms. So let me give you an example of what that looks like. Rivers and streams pick up sediment as they move downstream. The river floods and then deposits the sediment in flat areas along the river banks. These sediment deposits add to the floodplain. A river can also deposit sediments at the mouth of the river, creating a triangle-shaped piece of land we call a delta. It kind of looks like a chicken foot. <laughs> People also change the land. How do we do that? Well, farming. Floodplains and deltas that weathering, erosion, and deposition create, people can use them as farmland. They're great farmland. Dams. People build dams to control the flow of rivers and produce electricity. And people drain wetlands in order to make land dry to build their homes. People also direct water into desert areas to make it possible for people to live. Oh my goodness, we have learned so much about landforms and how they are created through weathering, erosion, and deposition. I had a lot of fun. I guess I'll just chill here on the surface of our planet, the Earth. Mm -hmm.